And good day, good day, JDM crew. While I wait to merge here, uh, I've got another inventory video for you guys here today. Uh, you might be familiar with this layout. Yes, it is an R32 Skyline. Oh, but this is a GTS, or I'm sorry, I have to double check the chassis code, GTST. Um, we do have the uh, RB25, I believe. I'm gonna double check, <laughs> do apologize. I was just looking at it, I see RB, and I'm like, sure, whatever. Uh, but there is a difference between the RB20 and RB25, and uh, I'll be showing you guys here in a little bit. Sounds good. Hear that turbo spooling up. I have to double check on what filter we're using with this. And as you can see, I got this Momo Ray steering wheel with extra padding. We've got the Sony audio deck, which seems to have a little bit of duct tape on there. We can, uh, I got some adhesive remover we can use for that. Uh, they did have a couple of other gauges, but they've kind of simplified it now. We've only got the uh, turbo timer here now, so. Yeah, I need to use a little bit of adhesive remover to finish this off. Uh, they did a good job with the paint. Uh, they did uh, refresh the paint, so we got this nice glossy black. Looks awesome. Uh, the interior is stock, and I've got the uh, stock 5-speed here. Which, going through all the gears, it's been no problem. Feels like OEM. About 181,000 kilometers on there, which is... Uh, a little over 100,000 miles. And uh, for those of you guys that know about Nissans, you take care of them, they'll take care of you. Uh, it's not really that much. I had a S14 240SX with way over 200,000, and that was no problem. And because most of this is stock, um, there's not really much else for me to talk about. Uh, we do have uh, fog lights on there, which I believe they used aftermarket fog lights to replace the OEM ones, but the button still works for that the OEM button here on the side. So yeah, overall this is uh, pretty stock. I mean, we've got the sunroof here, which uh, I don't need enough sun right now, so I'm just uh, closing that. And I'm not sure about the speakers. They seem to be stock. Um, they do have the little tweeters here. Um, just not sure because I do know that at least the uh, CD deck is actually changed out, but we don't have the Navi system. We got this Sony with that big boost and everything, so yeah. I already had a look around though. We do have uh, pretty much the, like everything is, is basically stock, guys. So there's uh, not much else for me to really point out at this point. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look around in the engine bay here in a moment. I'll give you a walk around once we get to the warehouse. Spooling up, I'm sure. Yeah, so with the uh, RB20 and 25, you're gonna hear a lot more going on when it comes with the uh, boost. It's pretty wild. You're like, what's that? So, uh, yeah, spools up real nicely through the RPM, and uh, well, we're gonna be at our destination here shortly, so we'll just fast forward to that. See you there. All right, start from the interior. You can see we got a good old upholstery everywhere. Pretty decent shape. And the only one that's really worn is here on the driver's side, and I'll show you that in a second. Door panel's all right on this side. Uh, driver's side's a little worn. You can see uh, the dash is okay for the most part. There's a little bit of warp there from the heat. Yep, and we do have uh, that. Probably put a little adhesive remover, or if you wanted a Navi system, we can always upgrade to that. The uh, boot on both the shift knob and the parking brake are a bit worn, as is the shift knob, so we have that turbo timer right there from Blitz. This Momo steering wheel, the race steering wheel, with additional cover on there from the previous owner. And here's a quick glance at the mileage there, 181.363. I'll just 
just show you okay, got a little bit of wear on there and it can be customized if you want or it can be as is so you have a little bit of the upholstery worn from entering and exiting there and yeah, overall yeah, the carpets and stuff are all original so uh, this is made in uh, 1991, so it's July 91, so it is eligible for import. see all the stock parts there. Okay, so as you can see, uh, HCR32, oops, let's get that a little closer. So there's the VIN number there if you'd like to see a little bit more about it. So RB20, not 25, so I just wanted to mention that because uh, earlier I had to confirm. And so yeah, 2.0, revs a little bit uh, it's a little peppier than the 25 and 26. So. And we got the stock airbox here. And I believe the stock intercooler as well. Because there's no front mount. It's all just underneath there. So uh, for those of you guys that don't know. From the front here we got the air filter. Goes in through the turbo. Comes out the front here. To the intercooler. And then of course goes over into the intake plenum and boom more power uh, this doesn't even have the strut bars in the front or back so yeah it's pretty original for the most part and of course this is pretty heavy the uh, steel hood there so That sits in a little bit. It's not exactly super flush or anything. So this is what OEM looks like. Except for maybe the fog lights there, but these are uh, using the OEM wiring, so you're able to use the switches inside. So. Oh, uh, by the way, if you're not familiar with the headlights, uh, so certain types are plastic, certain types are glass, and these are the glass ones. So R32 is usually glass, which is nice and being projector got that clarity there and uh, yeah the trunk here so you guys can have a look do have plenty of room as you can see there is no strut bar over there so if you want one you can get one do have the tools and uh, spare tire and stuff in there so yeah there you go Oops. Alright guys, if you're interested in this R32, I believe it's the GTS, not the GTST, I think GTST is the 2.5. Don't quote me on that, I'll be checking it out again also to just double check on the different versions. Um, but yeah, if you just like rear wheel drive, you don't want that four wheel drive or the extra weight, boom, got this option here. Uh, and of course you can check out the 2.5 liter versions. Uh, this in particular is the 2.0 just uh, as a reminder for you guys uh, contact our sales team info at jdm-expo.com if you're interested in this or any other vehicles they'll be able to answer all your questions and also let you know about your shipping options and stuff like that uh, this is a 91 like i mentioned earlier made in july so more than eligible for the 25 year old in the u.s and uh yeah definitely looks good runs well and uh, if you wanted some mods uh you know or if you just want to keep it original it's up to you um I definitely think uh, a couple of mods make it a bit more peppy and a lot of fun. But uh, even in its stock form, this and even the automatic, I know some of you might be like, ew. But no, it's actually pretty fun to drive, um, pretty uh, comfortable. I mean, if you've ever driven an S14 or S13 in the US, automatic or manual, you know, it's not, not too much difference there. Uh, that's pretty much a similar feel you're going to get with these uh, early 90s Skyline. So definitely a good option if you're looking for a nice right-hand drive vehicle 
and uh, get you that skyline experience. As a friendly reminder, we're almost near the holidays here, so if you wanted to lock in one of these before Christmas or New Year's, make sure to get your orders in and hopefully get your car shipped out before November. Uh, there's only so much room available on the vessels whenever they leave, so whenever those ships head out, I mean, that's pretty much it. And it takes a couple of weeks to get to different parts of the world, so just a heads up on that. Our uh, sales team can let you know about that. They can also be reached on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So DMs on there go to our sales team, and uh, they'll be able to answer your questions there as well. So uh, as always, guys, thanks for stopping by. See you in the next video.